I literally cannot, in good conscience, just continue to participate in capitalism. It's taking a strain on me. It's taking a strain on everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Marcel Theory, where I'm your host, Marcel, like every video. And in today's video, judging by the title, it will be a confessions video. I have to get something off my chest that I can finally share. I've been keeping it, you know, a secret for a while. And I'm going to preface this by saying I consider my, myself a complex person in a way where a lot of different things influence me. So if I go on a tangent, it's usually because there's a more backstories to a backstory. And so I'm going to try to keep this short but still get everything I need across. I filmed this twice already, and it's still too long, but we're gonna get this down right. If you've seen me in any of my other videos, I did talk about, you know, I was wanted to travel, you know, get some wolfing experience farming. That didn't work out. Then I ended up being homeless. I still am, I'm in my car right now, but we're working through that. But, all the while this was happening, I told you guys, or I stated that I graduated spring 2021, and that was not the case. I actually graduated fall, so December 2021. My senior class, I was actually taking that spring 2020, failed it, COVID happened. Then spring 2021, took it again, failed it. Then I talked to my advisor and department head, and they substituted for independent study. And I was able to graduate. I passed the class with an A. And so I was just telling people that I graduated, but I didn't. And so I was just like, well, I was having feelings of not finishing just because of I seen what was going on in the world. And being a political science major, it kind of radicalized me. And we'll get into that. But I felt like I needed to finish this just to say I did that. But now it you know, in my head, it doesn't make any sense. Having a college education doesn't prove your worth. Like, capitalism in a capitalist society says it, it does. And you can do so much more without it. Or with it, it doesn't matter. You just don't necessarily need it. But in terms of that, I felt, you know, feelings of inadequacy just because I didn't do it. And, you know, I knew other people who did. And, you know, spent all this time trying to get it. And now I don't feel... I'm not putting in the work that I once was because I don't care about it anymore. So I finished it out, but I was using that opportunity for my travels to finish the degree, you know, learn some more things just about society. And because, you know, my major really radicalized me now because I would consider myself an anarchist. And if you know the terms and definitions, I would consider myself an anarcho-communist where I, I believe in decentralization. I believe in, you know, voluntary contracts, mutual agreements between people to get things done. You know, I don't believe in the systems of oppression anymore. You know, patriarchy, white supremacy, gerontocracy, so many isms and ocracies and so many different things that we don't have to live by anymore. I don't believe that. And so my, the knowledge that I've gained, I cannot in good conscience and in good faith continue to live in these systems of oppression that were not meant for me. And I've seen the effects because it's like I'm dealing with them now. I've seen what these systems are designed to do. They're not meant to benefit me. They're meant to benefit someone else. And so I can't keep playing the game, being on the rat race, trying to win something that I inevitably won't you know, win. Learning about everything America did, what we're still doing, and other countries and states and governments it was just i didn't like that and so i finally found anarchism and i found some really interesting people even some black anarchism because if we're being honest anarchism is very whitewashed and a lot of things are whitewashed and so that has to change i feel like right now i could do a job of informing people because you know right now as within the realm of anarchy I would say I closely resemble Murray Bookchin, who was an ecological anarchist. He believed in ecosystems and environments and how everything was connected, which I strongly believe. And besides him, there was a Black Panther who went to jail and became a Black anarchist, well, became an anarchist and essentially is a Black anarchist. His name was Lorenzo Irving and he's still alive. And he wrote a book I'm trying to get. I'll link the books that I've read about from them have influenced me in some way, but 
I literally cannot in good conscience just continue to participate in capitalism. It's taking a strain on me. It's taking a strain on everybody. And even then, going through college, I can't do the things that I was set out to do. Whether it's due to health reasons or just radicalization, I can't just follow the same path that was, I, you know, picked out or was picked out for me, my society. So things have had to change. And since I graduated, I no longer want to do anything in the government. Well, I would like to build the future because, you know, I feel like being a pioneer is something that's still in all of us you know travel i want to travel i definitely think humans should still be travelers again but besides that right now what i'm focusing on and hopefully in the next year is that i'm learning web development and if you know i'm learning html css javascript and whatever comes after that to hope to you know learn to build things but with the way the internet and Web3 and blockchain is going, I want to be able to build you know, apps on that, websites, decentralized apps, dApps, and hopefully get some more people of my complexion, of just more color in general, because we've seen the effects of AI, machine learning, all those things are only inputted by a certain group of people. So of course, there's going to be some discrepancies because there's no data for people like us. And so when things go A-wire, it's not the technology, it's the people building the technology. There is no representation. I feel that I can make a difference in some way, in some fashion. And so we're going to try and do that within a year. Uh, hopefully get my certifications up, you know, try to freelance or maybe get a tech job and work my way through that. But I want to continue to make YouTube content. I'm still starting up. I'm still learning what I want to do. I'm still finding what I want to do. But, you know, we're taking it day by day, even with my personal situation. And even then, I want to, you know, get my blog up and running. I want to, ah, there's a lot of things I want to do, but I've had to pivot so much just from the last two or three years, much like everybody else. But in terms of, you know, a life update, you know, we graduated. Um, we're going to keep working at this. I don't know what I want to do. Like in the present moment, I don't want to sign a lease. I don't want to sign my life over to anything else. Mental reasons as well. Like my mental health is very important to me. And I can't in good conscience and faith, once again, go through the same stress that I went through, you know, trying to survive in this capitalist society. So it's giving very much revolt. You know, this is, I don't want to say revolution because that word is hijacked like other words. You know, I want to take a stand. I'm thinking I'm taking a stand. I want to share what I know. You know, I want to connect with other people, you know, get some ideas going, get some real work going, get some praxis going. You know, a lot of people, they're stuck on theory and not into praxis. There's things that I cannot learn in my lifetime. And so, you know, being stuck on theory, these are what people back in the day knew. And so now times have changed. And so we have to actually put things into practice to see we can't just be focused on theory. Hopefully I can use this, you know, this platform to meet other people, get some work done, you know, figure out what to do in terms of life. I don't think that's the right answer, but, you know, I can't keep I personally and I know everybody else literally cannot keep going in the way we're going right now. Things are not looking good. Well, things things are kind of fucked right now you know but i feel like we can make some change and you know i can't do it alone and don't let anyone tell you that they have the solution you seen what happened in germany um and even then in america we keep electing one person out of a two-party system to lead us to think they're gonna help us that's not gonna happen we can't keep putting our faith in one single person or really you can't put your faith in man you can't put your trust in man because man's just gonna do whatever men deserve nothing <laughs> i'm sorry but yes that is my life update expect some more content coming soon we will get the ball rolling i am learning right now inner kids really influence me i want to share what i know and so yes this channel will be i'll be making a variety of content so don't worry um we're gonna get our situation figured out taking it once again day by day and yeah that's that on that <laughs> i feel complete now that i can say i finally graduated put in all the work i don't feel any different you know they say you feel different because you put on all this work or you're finally free i really don't give a fuck like i shouldn't have had to do all that nobody has should have to do all that work to just to get education or survive or all those other things but we'll get into that in future videos um i mean if you like like the video 
subscribe if you want to see more content coming soon share the video if you like if you're seeing this now welcome to the journey we're only going to go up from here and yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the other side Thank you.